Hey guys, so this is just a quick tutorial on some of the MIDI preferences that don't get talked about a lot, and I'm going to try to explain those to you. So basically, what you've got here is I'm, we're going to go in this little section here. What do I want to explain is basically what, what the inputs are, what the outputs are, and what track sync and remote are, and how you use them so that you know which of these to turn on and which to leave off. Oftentimes, if you turn everything on, it's not going to give you any adverse effects. So, you know, if in doubt, it's usually okay to do that, but sometimes it's a little iffy and can cause some problems. So knowing this is, uh, is probably going to be pretty helpful for you. So track is basically this, if you're receiving MIDI notes, like if you're playing anything into a MIDI clip, that's going to be done through track. So for me, I've got a keyboard set up on my USB cable, okay? So with this USB cable, I would definitely want the track on on my input because it's coming into the computer from my keyboard. If I have this off, it just will not receive the signal even if I'm playing the keyboard. So that's what that means. And if you're using the output, that means that you're sending note information out of this computer. Like for example, maybe I want to have a MIDI part play on one of my physical synthesizers. Then I would want to go to the output of the MIDI cable and turn the track on and then I would be able to have it play the notes from a physical keyboard instead of just an internal synth. Sync is, that's just really simple. Sync is basically, Ableton can be either be a master or a slave to several different things. Let's just say, for example, we want to sync Ableton in one computer to Ableton in another computer. Well, what you would want to do is if you're the master, you would want to set the sync to out. So what, what I'm using here is a USB cable and then I would sync to the other computer with a USB cable as well. So I would go out of this computer if it's, if it's the master and then go into the other computer. So the computer that is the master is going to be sending the signal out so you would want the sync out turned on. And then the other computer that's going to be the slave you would want the sync in turned on on that computer and they'll they'll sync up just right so that's basically what what sync is used for and the re remote is pretty much anything if you've got a MIDI controller with knobs or faders that is going to be controlled through remote now remember a controller could be sending fader and knob information as well as note information so in that case you would want to turn the, the track and remote on so if I'm receiving information, for example, from the APC40, then I would want the track and the remote on so that I could send note information and knob information. Except with that, to be honest, since it's set up as a control surface here and the input and output are already set up, this doesn't really matter as much from my experience. So. Anyway, I hope that gives you a more clear idea of what to use these for. So in review, track is for sending MIDI notes out or sending MIDI notes in. Sync is just for master or slave syncing of Ableton. And remote is for all the knobs and faders that are either coming in or information that you're sending out of the computer. So there you have it.